Hello and welcome to part two of Melodic Shredding with me, Fake Dr. Levin. Now, even though I'm a fake doctor, I think it's important that every now and then I give you some real medical advice. So this week I recommend that everyone goes out and buys a bag of apples. You need a bag of them so that you got more than a couple. And the reason you should eat them is because they're good for you. And if you chew on the skin, it cleans your teeth. But enough about apples. Last week we talked about how to use shred and fast licks as connective material between two melodic ideas. And this week I want to show a method for coming up with fast material that stands on its own melodically. In other words, rather than using the shred as transitional material exclusively between melodies, we're going to make the shred into the melody itself. So the way I like to go about this is I just come up with a melody that works really well at a slow speed and then I gradually build it up to a faster speed using the metronome. And this can take a while because typically things that work really well on their own as melodies slow are inherently different physically than what you would play very fast. Normally when you play fast, the most natural thing to do is play short melodic fragments of scales or arpeggios, short repeating ideas over and over again, like you would take something like this and play it over and over again. Or like... Those kinds of things are are great as connective material like what we were talking about last week, but they don't really it's hard to make them work as melodies and stand on their own as like just something that's really powerful. But if you take uh, something that works as a melody slowly and build it up, it might be less intuitive as to how to play it fast because you weren't like, you, you had to build it up to speed, you know, whereas it wasn't already necessarily in your fingers. But ultimately, I think you come up with some really cool stuff this way. So for an example, I wrote this moderate tempo melody. And then I worked it up to a faster speed. Now at the moderate tempo, it sounds very majestic and heavy, and you could have something like... But at the fast tempo, it sounds like really fiery and like uh, high energy and um, exciting. And so these the tempo is more of like a... it's a, a coloring of the emotion, a coloring of the feel, but the melody, in my opinion, sounds good either way. And so... Sometimes, when you take something that sounds really good fast and slow it down, it doesn't sound very good slow. But almost always, if you write something slow and then it sounds great slow and you speed it up, it'll almost always sound cool fast. That's been my experience at least. So if you're really looking to write a fast melody, a really safe way to come up with something that sounds kick-ass is to write a melody slowly and make it a really strong melody and then build it up using the process of taking tempo by tempo with the metronome playing it with as little motion as possible. Sometimes you might want to replace bends with hammer-ons or, you know, try to change the technique a little to facilitate higher speeds. Um, try to avoid barring and stuff like that, but, you know, you see or you might have to institute barring in order to play faster. You know, you, you might have to change a few things up. But the point is that you take this idea that's really strong on its own, slow, and you build it up to a faster tempo, and you can come up with licks you normally wouldn't play that way that sound like really different from your normal lick vocabulary. And you can also come up with melodic ideas that just stand on their own, even though they're fast. So uh, for download below the video, I have a link to the transcription of this particular lick that I played today, and I hope that it inspires you to come up with a lot of great licks, and I'd love to see them if you want to post video responses. That's always great if you want to email me or anything. Um, just, I'd love to see what you guys do with this method. I hope that it helps you out, 
And remember to eat your apples, and I'll see you next week.